Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up the Visium Analyzer, which is the component which makes your mouth move and the shape of the words that you're saying. But we're going to be showing how to set it up to work with a video or sound effect. This is useful if you have, for example, an actor in the scene or some form of other gadget which isn't an avatar and therefore doesn't have a user's voice microphone coming out of it, but you do want its mouth to still move. This will make sense, more sense as we go along, so let's just get going. If I hop over here into Smooth POV, you'll see that I've got the Akita avatar by Zab again. I like using this one because I just find it very expressive for all the shape keys. You'll find a link to Zab's um, Sketchfab in the video description where you can find this model and others. To the right here, I have a YouTube video tutorial from myself and a uh, music track called Farting Around by Kevin McClurt that will be linked in the video description as well. What we're going to do is override the usual set in, uh, systems and settings that are in place on this avatar, which would usually make it uh, only respond in a Visium sense to uh, the audio of the avatar of the person that's equipping the avatar, and instead we're going to make it respond to the video clip and the audio clip. Let's get going. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and equip my Logix, my developer tooltip here. I'm going to go ahead and inspect the avatar. So we're going to hit secondary here, open inspector. We're going to go up to the top here, go to centered root. Uh, should we go to the head proxy actually? Head proxy. Once we're on the head proxy here, we can see that we're on the Visium analyzer and that the Visium analyzer here has a source property. This is what we're going to be assigning to the audio clips over here. You'll see that it's null right now, and that's because I'm not equipped into the avatar. If I equip the avatar, the avatar voice source designer here will place my voice source into the source property of the Visium analyzer. But seeing as I've not equipped it, we can just play around as though it's not even there. Let me clear some gizmos as they're kind of in my face. So we're going to be reviewing a very similar process that we did to the previous video to this one, which will be volume meters um, with the same thing, sound effects and video clips, but we're doing this for the Visemes. So we'll inspect the audio clip here, open inspector, head up to the top, select the top of the audio clip here, and this clears Kevin McClurd farting around. Scroll through this till you see the audio clip player. Grab this, so it says audio clip player on your tool tip and then drop it into source here. And then we can hit play on this. Oops, there we go. And you'll see that the uh, Visium analyzer is um, making the shape keys move and now the avatar is singing. What's also happening here, which is uh, something to keep in note, I mean, quite enough of that, is that the uh, Visium analyzer is being used by another component might be the head proxy or it might be on the actual body. We'll take a look at the body. Here it is, direct Visium driver. So the direct Visium driver is picking up the data from the Visium analyzer and then applying it to the Visiums of the avatar again. So you'll see here that we're assigning PP, FF, TH, DD, all the Visiums here. And then if I hit play again on here, you'll see the actual Visiums of the avatar moving here. You can also use the Visium Analyzer all by itself. You don't need to plug it into an avatar. This can be good if you want to do a sort of pseudo frequency analysis graph. It isn't exactly that, but it um, kind of gives you that impression. What you could do here is just create the Visium Analyzer manually. I'll show you what that is. That is an attached component media utility Visium Analyzer here. And then once that's created and you've assigned the source, like I just showed you, you can pull it out with a logic tip or components. And then you can plug these values into any sort of creation that you want here. So if I just pull out a couple and we hit play again, you'll see that values are appearing. With that done, let's now show you how to do it to the video as well. So here we can inspect the video. Go up to the top, select this top object here, which is just the uh, YouTube video ID. Drag video texture provider into the uh, source property of the Visium Analyzer. Videos don't seem to have a stable volume, which is uh, somewhat confusing. But uh, I'm, I'm, I have everything right here, so we'll keep going. And now you'll see that the video is playing, and that the Akita avatar here is talking as me. In fact, if I do this, it's even more convincing. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and fly out of the world here and uh, pause that. There we go. 
I hope that showed you how to use the uh, Visium Analyzer component to do some cool visualizations with um, avatars, objects, and gadgets, etc. Uh, it'd be great to see more sort of actors, etc. Maybe a, a, a bartender, etc. You can play some some clips. I keep saying etc. Whatever. You get a bartender behind the bar, and maybe when you walk up, they uh, play a sound effect, which will then be shown on their Visiums. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.